Here's the left side fifth bow drive cylinder. Uh, some people always call, also call it a secondary cylinder. If this was a Ferrari, it would be called the secondary cylinder. Anyway, left hand fifth bow drive cylinder. It moves the front bow and the rear bow or fifth bow at the same time. Removal is really simple if you know how. You want to take this uh, rubber molding piece off um, to make the job easier. You can do it with it in place, but may as well take it off. It has three T25 uh, Torx bolts in here. I've already taken two of them out and uh, now I just need to get my Torx driver back in the right position to take the uh, last bolt out. Here we go. Three bolts. Trim piece out of the way. Now uh, we're down to taking off two circlips. Uh, one circlip in the front. I'll show you how it's done. It's a nice controlled motion. You stick a small flat screwdriver in the gap and walk the thing off so it doesn't go jumping out of the way. Just a nice controlled motion. Push the uh, pin out of the way. Actually the uh, bow needs to be uh, moved forward, extended to get this pin out all the way. I'll do that in a moment. Um, in On the rear pin, the circlip is on the inside. Kind of hard to uh, get that on the camera right now, but if you were to um, kneel in your driver's seat, you would see that you can just push this uh, pin circlip up the same way we did it on this side. We've taken it out already. Now we can uh, push this pin out of the way and uh, keep pulling. Um, this is why we took the uh, molding piece out. We can take the pin out through this uh, um, passage hole. And then um, we extend the bow a little bit, which means we put down the rear bow and uh, the front bow at the same time. And um, that gives us enough clearance in the end to um, get the front mounting pin out of the way here. We don't want to push too far, so watch out that you don't uh, get your hand caught in this frame coming down. Pin out. We now will pull the rear bow and front bow up again just to have them safe. Um, pull the cylinder out of its position. We cut the uh, zip tie, snip, and remember how these hoses are routed. The uh, hose number 22 goes to the blunt end of the cylinder, hose number 21 to the front. If this was on the other side, we'd have hose number 23 in the front and 22 in the rear. The way we uh, take the clips out, as I've explained in other videos, is uh, ideally we can uh, get a small flat screwdriver into the gap between the fitting and the clip and just um, push this clip out of the rail and uh, same in the rear. Try to get the screwdriver into this gap and get the clip out. Now I'm going to get some paper towels in case we have a few drops of fluid coming out. We don't want to have those dropping into the car. We just pull the hose pull the hose, wiggle on the sensor until it comes out of the rail. Here's the old cylinder out. We get the replacement cylinder from Trop Hydraulics. Rebuilt, better than a new one because we put in better seals that last way longer. And uh, we make the inside of these cylinders far better than brand new. The outside will never be as shiny as a new one, but that doesn't really matter as much. Let's put the uh, travel sensor back on first. 
there we go have the travel sensor and we remember that the blunt end of the cylinder gets the even hose number and the shaft end of the cylinder gets the odd hose number we push these fittings in straight we push the clip back in zip and zip hard to do this without getting my elbow in the picture now uh, we zip tie this again the way it was before now I see that there are zip tie marks on one hose and not on the other so this must be how the zip tie was on there if I had a video of this then I uh, could actually watch it and see exactly where the zip tie was but I think all the marks here show this is correct got the zip tie back on there and we put the cylinder back into place rear bushings first they're the ones with the friction on them we push the cylinder roughly where it belongs we can stick a small screwdriver through the rear pivot point and then we can push our mounting pin back into place and uh, sit, uh, wiggle the cylinder a little bit until this pin goes into place extend the shaft put the front pin back in and um, secure the two circlips again uh, put our rubber molding on and we are done ta-da